Gumbna from Oscar Blues 2014. Hey guys, this is Beer Circles. I haven't done a review in a long time, but this thing got me really excited. I had Gumbna before from Oscar Blues. This 2014, 14, sorry. Um, 2014 vintage. It's a seasonal release, right? Is outstanding. Um, the previous version of it that I had was very sticky, just super piney, but very sticky and sweet and overly bitter. Um, not really my type of IPA at all, or double IPA, I should say. This thing clocks in at 10% ABV. Um, so I kind of stayed away from it, and a good friend of mine, uh, Jim Scoby, if you ever watch this, got me a can of this and he was told that they changed this uh, recipe every year and uh, I was like whatever I'll, I'll give it a try and he was like no 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 dude he's like this stuff is amazing uh, I had the one many years ago what, no, three years ago or something not many years but three years ago um, or two years ago and uh, he was not impressed as well just for personal taste. It was not a bad beer, just not, I guess it's not what he likes and what I like. I just like really crisp, really um, hop flavor forward I, double IPAs, um, super dank IPAs, uh, dry IPAs. Um, I live in Los Angeles, California. West Coast style IPAs. That's what we do here and that's what I like the best. Um, so anyway, uh, again, it was not a bad beer. It's just not. It was just not my style. Uh, it was quite boozy as well, which you know, you know, it added a little sweetness. You know, the alcohol added a little sweetness on top of being really caramely and sweet. I make it sound bad. It's just it was just not my cup of tea, basically. Um, this year, oh my. So uh, from uh, reading their website. Um, they used uh, basic two rows, some Vienna malts, uh, I think Munich as well, I'm not sure. There's some rye in this, which is fantastic. Huge rye, uh, IPA uh, with rye uh, kind of guy. But they use a lot of Sriracha Ace hops. If you're not familiar with Sriracha Ace, it's uh, originally a Japanese hop that was used a lot uh, over there uh, for their lagers. And, uh, has a lemongrassy kind of a characteristic, which is definitely in here, super super lemongrassy. But then they use mosaic, which we all know about that. Since there's some peach notes, some you know, some berries kind of tones, but more like peaches and other kind of like fruity notes. And um, I forgot what the other one. Oh, chinook. Also, oh, there you get your chinook. You get your earthiness, kind of spicy, herbal resiny kind of thing, but it's, it's on a downside, so the aroma is amazing, it's just dank, uh, fruity, peach, berries, um, it has very little of the malt profile on it, but a little bit, you know, it's, I think that Munich or Vienna, whatever it was, I apologize, uh, had a long day, today's Friday, um, it's been a long week for me actually, so I'm a little bit out of it, but I don't remember exactly what I read, but it's, I think it's Vienna. And maybe a little bit unique. And then the rye adds, adds the mouthfeel without making it cloying and, and just, it's fantastic. You guys gotta check this. 2014 Oscar Blues Gumna Double IPA. This one is in the book, one of the best double IPAs I've had this year. Signing off, Beer Circles. Drink amazing beers, and that's somebody else's logo. But drink amazing beer, anyways, because this is one of them. And you don't want to miss it. Be safe. Bye.